a lot of the clinical world is embracing it. And you know, what I found with uh, physicians, I'm a physician, <laughs> so um, it, it was, it's, it's really been an, an interesting ride with that too. Um, when Steve responded and I wrote my little case report, we happened to have a medical staff uh, uh, meeting. And I said, can I just have like 10 minutes to talk about something that happened that I need, because these are all you know, mainly internists and you know, other people who are taking care of adults and you know, geriatric age patients. And so I told him the story of it. And um, the gratifying thing to me, very recently, I started going back to, uh, as my primary care doctor, a uh, lady doctor, and it turned out she had heard that. And she told me all along she was telling her patients to do this, her people, her older people to yeah, start eating coconut oil and MCT oil. You know, that whole time from 2008 until I went back to see her, she became my primary physician. So it sunk in, you know, with some people. And um, what I found with physicians is that some of them embrace it. If they really will listen to you and read about it, the science, we were taught in medical school. I was taught that during starvation, ketones become elevated and they provide alternative fuel. And I also remember that MCT oils converted the ketones. Those were two things I actually learned in medical school. And if doctors can just remember their basic biochemistry and think about it um, and maybe do any research and learn you know, what Dr. Kunain has done now, he's been able to show with ketone and glucose PET scans that ketones are taken up normally in the Alzheimer brain, that this actually makes sense. The idea makes sense. Um, and now there are a growing number of studies to support it. They're mostly small right now, but bigger studies are happening. And you know, and then there are other physicians that their, their uh, patient may bring in an article about it and they just won't even take it from them. They won't even read it. Stubborn people who um, won't learn about it. They don't think outside the box and they just tell their patient, you know, sorry, you have Alzheimer's, go home and get your affairs in order. There's nothing we can do for you.